When you hear the name Lauren Anderson, two things immediately come to mind. Ballet shoes and Houston icon. A native Houstonian, Lauren has been part of the Houston Ballet since 1983. And in 1990, she was one of the first African-American ballerinas to become a principal for a major dance company. She retired from the Houston Ballet in 2006, but that doesn't mean she slowed down one bit. I got to chat with Lauren all about her fascinating dance career, her inspirations, and even her favorite costumes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am so excited to talk to you today. <laughs> You're excited about everything. Huh? I am most excited about you, though. Thank you for joining us, and I just, I, I'm so excited to spotlight your career because it has been magnificent. Thank you. I'm, uh, it's wonderful that we're here at the Wortham because this is where most of it happened. This is like your second home, That's right? That's right, for sure, for sure. How many years have you spent walking through those doors here at the Wortham? Well, the doors opened in 87. And I walked through the doors then. So let's see, 87 and what are we, 22? However many years that is, that's yep. how many years I've been walking through that's the doors. That's amazing. Lamar High School is where you went. That's right, right there on West Timer. Represent how old were you when you first started dancing? I started dancing at the age of seven, way back in 19, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll never forget, because I was in Houston Ballet's first Nutcracker down at Jones Hall down the street. And um, I didn't think that I was going to be a ballerina. I think basically the way this happened is my dad uh, was an assistant principal of high school for the performing arts, and he was hiring dance teachers, and hired, was hiring pianists and dance teachers from Houston Ballet, and said, I have an overactive uh, young daughter. Is ballet good? Oh. <laughs> and he's right, I'm still overactive. Yeah. Not young anymore. But, and ballet was definitely good for me. Absolutely. Yeah. Since the Wortham opened, you've been here. 1990 was a big year for you. Let's talk about that year specifically. So in 1990, I became the first black principal dancer with the Houston Ballet. That was huge. I had no idea that was going to happen. My dream was to get in the company. So I got in in 1983 after I graduated from high school. And then my goal was to be a soloist because I wanted to be the chick in the middle in the tutu. Who the doesn't want to yeah, do that? The yes, Plum Fairy. Yes, yes. I mean, I'd been watching her since I was seven. And then uh, the most amazing thing happened when Ben Stevenson said, you know, next year we're going to make you a principal dancer. And I literally, I tried to be cool, but you know, I was going, wee -hee! and I was like, Oh my goodness, thank you so much. And I was jumping up and down and doing one of these on the inside. Yeah, absolutely. It was amazing. I had no idea. And then, you know, uh, you, ne you think you're going to dance forever when you're young. And you have no idea that, I mean, he set me up for success again because I started teaching uh, in 1987, actually, in the school, just here and there. And that's what I do now. That's what I love to do. My, my, my jam is teaching students, introducing them to dance, introducing them to the theater, uh, teaching ballet to conservatory schools, yeah. Did Dr. King have a, of an inspirational role in your career? Well, yeah, I, I will say I, I will not misquote Dr. King, I won't, but he mentioned content of character and that has stood out for me. Um, I know with all the stuff that's going on now, what necessary, unnecessary, all the many things, we can't forget about the content of character. We're thinking about the color of the skin and the gender and the age and the whatever. None of that matters. Content of character is most important. And I think we lose that with social media, right? We have content, but not much character. Mm, I preached. Mm. I just preached. <laughs> to so many people. For more on my fun chat with Lauren, just log on to HoustonLife.tv. Derek and Courtney, let me tell you something. She was one of the most fun, charismatic people I have ever spoken to and just a blast. Her career is still going so strong and mm -hmm. it was amazing to talk to her and how much love she has for ballet. She says ballet is her first love and her husband <laughs> and then her son. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I want to go to Lauren Anderson's church any day. Absolutely. She is fantastic. And I love that now she is in, in the school, in the academy, because yes. now young girls have someone that they can look up to yep. that 
look like them. Absolutely. She is a, such a role model, model in the community. She's on so many boards around town. Yeah. She just has a, a packed schedule and she's a busy lady. So we're just so glad she took the time. She's to also talk. an approachable, real person. Yes. Yes. And one of the yes. things, one of the many things I love about you, Lauren, she's been very open about her ups and downs yep. in Struggles. her career and in life. Yep. And I think that is to be commended. Truly an inspiration that cannot be overstated. Can we yeah. also talk about the gun? Oh, yeah, her arms like, no. are spectacular. Amazing yeah. girlfriend. <laughs> Amazing. Again, I want to go to your church anytime. Preach. Thanks, Lauren. <laughs> sure. Thank you, Lauren.